millions of students are beginning a new school year. By now, parents have given lectures on studying hard and the dangers of sex, drugs, and credit cards. While there's no way to completely protect kids, there's one important safeguard you should know about right now. Going away to college is a rite of passage. I'm going to manage my money each month to where I don't spend over a certain amount. Everybody, um, you know, is out partying. There's another less talked about danger for every kid from middle school through college. Meningitis is an infection of the brain and spinal cord. And although there are a lot of different possible causes of meningitis, usually people are talking about bacterial meningitis. The most common bacterial form is meningococcal meningitis. It's more commonly spread by direct or indirect contact with saliva. Symptoms include severe headache, high fever, stiff neck, nausea, sensitivity to light, confusion, and rash. According to the CDC, 1,000 to 2,600 people in the U.S. contract the most severe form every year. While that may not seem like a lot, for those who get it, the results can be devastating. It's a very rapidly progressing illness, and especially in teenagers or college students who may not tell an adult right away that they're feeling ill. The early <laughs> symptoms fooled Nick Springer. It was a sleepaway camp, so we were all living in very close quarters. I thought I had come down with a very bad case of the flu one night. I had a fever of about 102, uh, vomiting, uh, upset stomach, and I had purple blotches on my uh, stomach and all over my chest. The doctor uh, prepped my family and told them to say their final goodbyes. Uh, I was given my last rites by a priest. Nick's legs and arms had to be amputated. They can develop blood clots throughout the body that basically stop the blood flow to certain parts of the body. At the time, Nick was 14, an age when kids don't think twice about sharing. I most likely got it from sharing a water bottle. A lot of people do that, especially during gym class. Go up, jack. Or in a school cafeteria. It's like, oh, can I have half your sandwich or can I have a sip of your juice or something like that? Swapping drinks, utensils, lipstick, or even coughing can spread infection. Oh my gosh, this one's so good. Your common sense goes out the window and because you're transfixed by pretty colors. Adolescents travel in a pack, smoking, kissing, uh, sharing uh, drinks are not behaviors that adolescents are going to avoid. In every case of meningococcemia in which I've been, been involved, one of the questions from the parents has been, how could we have avoided this? There are two vaccines available now, Menactra and Menvio. These vaccines can prevent four types of meningococcal disease. We can give it to kids as they're heading into the teen years and it will protect them through high school and then on into college. The CDC recommends that all adolescents between the ages of 11 and 18 be immunized. It's especially important for college freshmen living in a dorm. You prepare for everything about college, and this should be one of the preparations. Meningitis changed the course of Nick's life. He became part of the U.S. wheelchair rugby team that won a gold medal at the 2008 Beijing Paralympics while continuing a personal mission to educate his peers. He offers this advice. You have to get vaccinated. Number two, know the symptoms. Again, they are severe headache, high fever, stiff neck, nausea, sensitivity to light, confusion, and rash. You guys want water or Kool-Aid or something? And finally, practice healthy habits. My mom's always told me about a cup. Well, she wouldn't want me to share it with other people. You just never know.